What's the breakfast meal that gets you up and running for the day? We all have that one dish that not only satisfies our morning hunger pangs, but also sets the tone for a productive day. Some prefer a bowl of cereal, while others opt for a full English breakfast. Yet, there's a world of breakfast dishes waiting to be discovered. Today, we're going to whip up a classic Filipino breakfast dish, tapsilog. To make this mouth-watering dish, we need the following ingredients. We'll start with 200 grams of beef sirloin or thinly sliced beef for the tapa. You'll also need three cloves of garlic, minced, and two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of vinegar, and one tablespoon of brown sugar. Don't forget to add salt and pepper to taste. Moving on, we have two cups of cooked white rice for our sinangag. We'll also need two eggs, and of course, some cooking oil. Now, this is just the basic rundown. You can always add your own twist to it. Maybe throw in some of your favorite spices or herbs to make it even more flavorful. Remember, cooking is an art, and you're the artist. So, feel free to play around with the ingredients to make this dish truly your own. Now, let's get started with the actual cooking process. The first step is to prepare the tapa, which is the meat in our dish. For the tapa, we'll be using 200 grams of beef sirloin or thinly sliced beef. To start, we need to marinate the beef to infuse it with flavor. In a bowl, let's combine three cloves of minced garlic, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of vinegar and one tablespoon of brown sugar. We'll also add a little salt and pepper to taste. Give this mixture a good stir until everything is well combined. Next, add the beef slices to the marinade. Ensure that every slice is well coated in the marinade by giving it a good mix. This will help the beef absorb all the flavors from the marinade. Once that's done, let the beef marinate for at least 30 minutes. If you have the time, it's even better to let it marinate overnight in the refrigerator. This will allow the flavors to really penetrate the beef. Now let's cook the tapa. Heat a skillet over medium-high heat and add a little cooking oil. Once the oil is hot, add the marinated beef slices. We want to cook them until they're browned and cooked through. This should take about three to four minutes per side. Make sure to flip the beef slices halfway through to ensure they cook evenly on both sides. Once the beef is cooked, it should have a beautiful brown color and a delicious aroma. Once the beef is cooked, set it aside as we move on to the next step. Remember, the tapa is just one part of our tapsilog dish. We still have the sinangag or garlic fried rice and the itlog or eggs to prepare. But for now, take a moment to appreciate the delicious tapa you've just prepared. It's a crucial part of this classic Filipino breakfast dish and you've done a great job preparing it. Next, we will prepare the sinangag, which is the garlic fried rice. A staple in any Filipino breakfast, this isn't just any ordinary rice, it's rice with a kick, a flavor burst that will make your taste buds dance. Let's start by heating up the same skillet we used for the tapa. Don't worry about the leftover beef bits, they'll just add a delightful flavor to our sinangag. If needed, add a little more oil. Once it's nice and hot, it's time to saute our garlic. We want it to turn a lovely golden brown and give off that irresistible aroma that is a hallmark of this dish. And now, for the star of the show, our cooked white rice. We've got two cups here, which is the perfect amount to soak up all that garlicky goodness. Add the rice to the skillet and give it a good stir. We want every grain to be coated with the garlic and the flavorful oil. As the rice heats through, it's going to start crackling and popping. And that's when you know magic is happening. The rice grains will take on a slightly golden hue, absorbing all those flavors and transforming into something truly spectacular. This is the heart of the sinangag, the moment when it comes alive. Finally, we season the rice with a sprinkle of salt and pepper. This will enhance the flavors and give our sinangag that extra zing. Give it one last stir, making sure the seasoning is evenly distributed. And there you have it, folks. Sinangag, garlic fried rice, the soul of our tapsilog. It's a dish that's simple yet satisfying, humble yet flavorful. It's the kind of food that reminds you of home, of warm mornings and hearty breakfasts, of the love and care that go into preparing a meal. With the rice ready, it's time to move on to the final ingredient. Lastly, we will prepare the itlog, which is the egg. This is where personal preference really comes into play. Some like their eggs scrambled, others prefer them over easy. But for an authentic tapsilog experience, we're going for sunny side up. Start by heating a little oil in a pan over medium heat. Once the pan is hot, carefully crack your egg, ensuring not to rupture the yolk. Let it sizzle away. 
watching as the edges crisp up while the yolk remains runny. Alternatively, if you prefer your yolk fully set, simply cover the pan for a minute or two. A sprinkle of salt and pepper and your it log is ready. Remember, the beauty of cooking is making each dish your own, so feel free to cook your eggs just how you like them. With all our ingredients ready, it's time to assemble our tapsy log. Now comes the fun part, assembling our tapsy log. Once we have our three key elements ready, the tapa, the sinangag and the it log, it's time to bring them all together in a delightful harmony of flavours. The beauty of Tapsilog is in its simplicity. Each component shines on its own, but together they create a symphony of taste that's truly greater than the sum of its parts. So let's start with a solid foundation, the garlic fried rice or sainangag. This is where our journey begins. Take a generous scoop of the rice and lay it on a plate. The aroma of the garlic infused rice is already a treat in itself, but we're just getting started. Next, it's time for our star player to make its entrance, the tapa. Nestle the beef slices neatly onto the rice. The savoury tapa with its rich marinade adds a hearty depth of flavour that perfectly complements the crisp garlicky rice. And now, the crowning glory, the it log or egg. Gently place it atop the tapa. The egg, with its golden yolk, offers a creamy contrast to the savoury beef and fragrant rice. It's a delightful trio of flavours that hits all the right notes. But we're not done yet. Remember those condiments we mentioned earlier? Now's the perfect time to add them. Fresh slices of tomatoes or cucumber can add a refreshing crunch, while a vinegar dipping sauce with chili peppers can give it an exciting kick. It's all about creating a balance of flavors that suits your taste. Take a moment to admire your creation, the vibrant colors, the enticing aroma, the exciting blend of flavors. It's a feast for the senses, a true testament to the culinary magic that is Tapsilog. And there you have it, our homemade Tapsilog is ready to be served. This is more than just a breakfast dish. It's a celebration of Filipino cuisine, a testament to the simple joys of homemade food. So go ahead, dig in, enjoy every bite, and let the flavours of the Philippines fill your morning with warmth and delight. Let's do a quick recap of the steps we took to prepare our tapsilog. We began by marinating the beef in a mixture of minced garlic, soy sauce, vinegar, brown sugar, salt and pepper. This was left to infuse the flavours for at least 30 minutes, though leaving it overnight will deepen the taste. We then cooked the marinated beef on a medium-high heat until it was browned and cooked throughout. This was set aside as we moved on to the garlic fried rice or sinanga. Using the same skillet, we sautéed additional minced garlic until it was golden brown and fragrant. The cooked rice was then added and stir-fried until it was heated through and evenly coated with the garlic. Next came the eggs. In a separate pan, we heated a little oil and cooked the eggs sunny side up, although you can cook them to your preference. Finally, we assembled the sea log. The garlic fried rice was divided onto plates, topped with the cooked tapa and a fried egg. The dish can be served hot, with your choice of condiments such as sliced tomatoes, cucumber or a vinegar dipping sauce with chili peppers. Enjoy your homemade tapsi log, a classic Filipino breakfast dish. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like and share. Stay tuned for more delectable recipes.